What's good guys? Today, I've decided to do a From the Depths video. Mainly because playing Minecraft gets a bit boring after a while. But don't worry, that series is still here. I'm returning tomorrow. However, I was up yesterday playing From the Depths. So I decided to record a let's build on an anti-air vehicle, frigate, boat, I don't know. Either way, it turned out pretty terribly, you could say. I mean it looks kind of cool, but I tested it against some deep water guard ships and it works kind of okay against aircraft, which to be fair is what it's designed to fight. However, against anything with more than one inch of armor, it doesn't work so well. But yeah, I mean as you can see, I've finally figured out how to use camo. Weren't that hard. I'm just a moron. But yeah, I mean, for what this is, I probably spent way too much time on it because it took me like two and a half hours. But it's not actually that good. It's not very compact. It's quite expensive. Well, not that expensive. But 40k for something that loses against the Marauder isn't great. Although the only reason it lost against the Marauder is because it decided to not move, but whatever. Yeah. As you can see, um, this isn't very great building. Very slow. As you can see, I spent about seven minutes on paint every time I built something new. But yeah, I was gonna use um, actual weapons on here, but I made it too small, so I just used simple weapons. Because there's meant to be just that one simple weapon there, and on the back, some non-simple weapons but to be honest at half nine I just couldn't be asked sitting there trying to build a small anti-air weapon when I could just use the 4k simple weapons which probably work better anyway but yeah I'm still quite happy with how this turned out. Although, out of the two hours I spent building it, one hour was probably just faffing around with mimics and control blocks, which was probably a bit of a waste of time. But that's fine, I mean, I guess. Whatever. Oh yeah, right here, as you can see, I went to prefab an engine from the engine platform that like is on the workshop. But yeah, so I prefabbed an engine and I, I probably should have just put one in because then I would have had space for some actual weaponry. But instead I decided to put a two in. So, at this point it already had way too much power than it needed, and way too much fuel than it needed. But I still decided to add some extra batteries later, so that's just unnecessary. This could have probably cost like 30k resources and not 40, but I didn't think of it at the time. Also thought it needed batteries for whatever reason. 
I also spent way too much time on this bridge part here. Because instead of just putting the metal plate in, because I haven't played this game in a while, so I still thought that the metal plate had a weird hitbox, so you wouldn't be able to walk through. But they've changed that. But I was unaware, so I still spent about 10 minutes doing a mimic to make it look like a metal plate when I could have just placed the metal plate. So that's a bit dumb. I also spent way too much time on this part here, adding a little floor thing with railings. I can't even believe it, how I spent so much time. I didn't even look that great, at the end anyway. Probably just could have done the railings straight away, because I ended up doing mimics and then removing them. So, Although this window part, I like this a lot. I saw it on a steam workshop ship I found a while ago. It's just using like door frames but changed to make them smaller. It's quite cool. Although it did take another 10 minutes to do. Which is annoying because this build which should have probably taken like an hour took me two and a half and it lost the fight to a marauder, so pretty much it was a colossal waste of time. Although to be fair, it achieves the objective that I was going for, because it was intended to be an anti-air vessel, which it does quite well because I've tested it against deep water guard planes and it wins, so it's some pro skills. And I've decided not to try fight actually good aircraft with it. Because if I don't fight them, I'll never lose. So, that's a win. to do a little tower thing you could say with like range finders and detection equipment but again I saw some reference image online which I thought looked cool so instead of just making it functional I spent like 20 minutes adding mimics for no reason and I'm pretty sure the detection don't even work because I spawned it in in a campaign and it missed some shots so that's unfortunate oh that's, e that's easily fixable yeah 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 let's just save that by the way if you guys want to see another From the Depths video, then make sure to like this video. Otherwise, I will keep making cringe Minecraft videos. Which I'll keep making anyway, by the way. You know, another one coming out tomorrow. Building a desert starter house. But yeah, as you can see here. Yeah still terrible at mimics which is why it took me let me see probably about two minutes to set up this terrible little mast which again isn't actually that great but alas you know next time i'll actually know how to do it so i'll be better you see it's all gonna work out
right. Now at this point, I realise it looks terrible. So, I, mean, I just decided to move on and do the rest. And yeah, don't know if you can tell, but that's that's metal. It's just it's just painted. I know it looks a bit like lead. Also, yeah, I decided to use stone instead of wood. I thought that would work, but as you'll see later, it didn't. Because I was hoping to have a nice, smooth underside, but because I stupidly used stone. It ended up weighing about 6 million kilograms, so I had to add some propellers on the bottom. Oh yeah, and then I added this dumb ammo compartment, which... I should've probably done some spaced armor and just compacted the ammo. Because with a heat shell, or a hess shell, or an armor penetration shell, or a frag shell, it was dying. So that's not particularly the greatest idea I've ever had. But this isn't supposed to be a meta craft, it's supposed to be an anti-aircraft that will just hide behind my other ships and hit the aircraft, which is what anti-aircraft craft do. Oh yeah, this back portion also took, took a, quite a bit of figuring out because I just never plan things out in advance I just do it so this back part ended up looking really weird because while I was building it I decided I wanted some Aziapods is that what they're called? I don't know either way the things that have like propellers and yeah, it ends up looking really weird, as you can see, because they're just way too big for this small of a craft. So yeah, then I had some turning props, for no particular reason, other than I remember having my rudder shot off and dying and raging severely and yeah also here obviously because wood is my favourite block ever I decided to make this out of wood for whatever reason which was a bad idea because the simple weapon that I put there kept dying probably because it's placed on wood not even reinforced decking I mean, I guess this worked out quite well, because it stabilised the ship a bit. <laughs> also, yeah, here, I decided to be an absolute moron, and I placed a mainframe, instead of a local weapon controller. And it took me about five minutes to figure that out, why the failsafe wouldn't work. But, I figured it out in the end. Well done, me. But yeah, then I made this terrible shell which is terrible I mean they are simple weapons so never gonna be that good but yeah originally I was gonna use the circular double ones but they just didn't look great but yeah Obviously, since I decided to add batteries for no reason, which as you can see gave me 3.5k engine power for this tiny terrible little ship, which meant I couldn't do actual weapons, although I couldn't be bothered, but still, so I just used these 8 octopal, these simple weapons. And then yeah, obviously, I spent about 75 years setting up all the firing constraints because the 
fail safes never work, so might as well not put them on. But yeah, the, the, the fail safes just never work, so cannons always just shoot through landfills. And yeah, obviously, then another couple minutes setting up with this stuff, the AI stuff probably won't work anyway. Yeah, it probably won't work. It will probably just stand still and get killed by a marauder. Oh, wait. But yeah, as you can see, very unstable. Rocking back and forth. And until that point, I thought I'd had a, done a good job. But then I saw this and I'm like, oh my god. So yeah, then I had to ruin the smooth underside by adding lots of propellers. And every time I fixed the problem, another one was caused. Because when I fixed the pitch, it started rolling, and then it started sinking, and so on. Which, that, that is the only big problem in this craft, that the stone AI isn't at the centre of mass, so it always just rocks back and forth. Yeah, I mean, I would be easily fixable. But to be honest, at this point, it was like half ten, and I couldn't be asked. So, yeah. I see. I had to make it slower, which I know it sounds a bit dumb, but I don't want this thing to eat six million resources a second, which it was. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. Now, here are some screenshots of this thing in action. I only took two, because these are the only two times it was winning. Okay, well that was a lie, I took four. Anyway, bye.